Hi guys, it is Andy the BPD Warrior here with another edition of my quarantine video. <laughs> um, there has been a, a change. I was doing them on Facebook Live, but I was having problems like technically, like the audio wasn't syncing with the video, so my mouth would be moving, no sound. So I decided to switch to YouTube. Plus, it's probably better to do that anyway. <laughs> So I have a few coping skills for you guys today that I want to share with you and hopefully help you deal with this pandemic because these are some of the things I'm doing to deal with it. Okay, well first off, I am taking care of myself um, physically. If you saw one of my previ previous videos, <laughs> I was in the hospital. You would have known that I was in the hospital in February because I had low potassium and sodium and it caused me to become delusional. So, Gatorade is what I have to drink at least two of these a day. Uh, I prefer water. <laughs> but trying to keep my sodium levels and my potassium levels up. Well, I'm on a potassium supplement, but it's hard to be on a sodium supplement, I guess. Alright, so now into some other things that are uh, coping mechanisms. Uh, one of them was I talked to my therapist about it. Um, and... I had been putting it off and she was like, well, if you want to just do it. So kind of my therapist gave me permission to re dye my hair. <laughs> it was getting the brown, my roots were getting pretty prominent, the brown color. Um, so I was able to, I allowed myself to re dye my hair. And, and like she said, it, if it makes you feel more human, if it makes you feel better, if it make, you know, so then I did, I felt, <laughs> I felt better. I felt happy, feel happier. I'm glad I went ahead and did it, even though I had to waste one of our pairs of gloves when we don't have a million. <laughs> but it does make me feel better, so I'm glad I did it. Uh, okay, next one on my list is another thing that I've been meaning to do. Um, let's see, because right, right behind me there should be a pile of clothes. <laughs> they put away in the closet now, which is also back there. Some things mirrored. But what, another thing I'm working on is organizing my scrap, my scrapbooking supplies. I don't really scrapbook, but I do paper craft and they're kind of all under the same umbrella. So now I have three different, uh, what do you call it? Photograph, like photo books of, diff of my uh, either stickers or die cuts or whatever actually organized. So now I don't have to deal with like digging through a book, through digging through a box and trying to find everything to see what would work for whatever project I'm, I'm on, whether it's a card or a magnet or um, just a full piece piece of art. So <laughs> it took quite a while actually because there are two more back there you can see. It's annoying this thing's mirrored. So that's taken <laughs> quite a bit of time and I've always wanted to do it. I'm just glad I finally did. <laughs> so the next thing on my list um, of things I wanted to share with you guys today uh, for a coping skill is having a gratitude list. There's a lot of scientific proof that having a gratitude list can really help in your day-to-day -day life and help with depression and things like that. I know I'm drinking water at this one point, but I have both. <laughs> <clears throat> So in just in a gratitude journal, what I do is I write the date and then I list three things I'm grateful for. And sometimes the gratefulness is very minor, like I'm grateful I have a place to be grateful that <laughs> I have to write down that I'm grateful. Or, you know, I'm glad someone took the time of their day to talk to me or whatever. You know, it doesn't have to be a huge thing. You don't have to like, you know, donate a million dollars to charity to put it on the list. But just being grateful that you can be grateful is is gratitude. So there's a lot of proof, scientific proof, as I said, that gratitude lists really help with depression. And it's been important for me keeping up mine. Uh, the next thing I wanted to tell you guys about was a quote that I had on my mirror in the bathroom over there. But it's, um, I don't know what happened to it. I need to put it back up, but it's a quote I really like. It, has helped me many times. And the quote is, you're not responsible for being down, but you are responsible responsible for getting back up again. And that's by Jesse Jackson. And I think that's just like an amazing quote. It's a really good one. Uh, 
a few more things for you guys today. Um, try to take time to recognize the limits of the people you're with right now during quarantine. I'm sorry guys, but sometimes it's hard being around someone with mental illness, especially BPD. I know I've been a terror at some points. There would be points that I would just scream at the top of my lungs and it's called toddler brain. Um, and that's when you get to the point of just total breakdown and you can't do any, you can't react like an adult. And I would just scream at the top of my lungs and I had suicide attempts and I had self-harm inc incidents. And I know it was hard on my family. So try to recognize when things could be harder on someone you're living with. Um, and that's not to make anyone feel guilty. It's just to kind of like take a step back and be like, okay, I need to give them this time. Because your, your diagnosis, regardless if, regardless if it's BPD or whatever, doesn't define you. And that's not who you are. And I'm definitely not trying to shame you someone who goes by the BPD warrior um, but just try to recognize what they have done for us and also recognize what we've done for them I mean, it's only fair but just try to realize the limits that your people who you are living with right now have because sometimes it can be hard I know it can even you know working in recovery it's still hard a lot of the time and sometimes I'll have total breakdown moments, not to the point I get to toddler brain, but I have had breakdown moments that have made it hard on Eddie. And I recognize that and accept it. So just try to stand back before you get into those situations where the person who is trying to help you can't help you anymore. So just recognizing those limits is very important when you live with other people. <sighs> All right, so finally, the last thing I have is a link that I'm going to share in the description. Gosh, my hair's a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna share in the description, and it's from an interview that Stephen Colbert, who is working from home, and uh, John Mulaney, who is also working from home, had. Uh, they did an interview together, and I'm not a big John Mulaney fan, but I really liked what they had to say in this video. And he talks about being in therapy via Zoom, of course, how we're all doing it that he was talking to his therapist and he's been struggling with the fact that it feels like we're so lazy we're not doing anything so we're all lazy right and she had to remind him you're not lazy you're doing what you need to so we have the herd impact that keeps people who are immunosuppressed or um, just in general have problems with getting sick a lot we're keeping them safe that's why we're at home and so that Hearing that helped a lot, helped me a lot at least, and I was like, wow, that's, that's very profound. We are here, we're all doing this, let's, you know, all TV shows are talking about us being alone together, with commercials or whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, just, it really helped me a, a lot that we're not lazy, we're doing what we're allowed to do, which is to stay, and not even just allowing, but we, we're deciding to do, even though the government's not all the time um, we're just we're here but we're alone but we're together and it sounds stupid and corny but it really is true <laughs> it's true what we're going through so thanks guys i hope you all are taking care of yourselves and staying safe especially if you work in an essential job um, i think you're awesome and i am wearing shorts that do not match the shirt <laughs> But I do, we are like having 80 degree weather in Virginia and we haven't installed our air conditioner yet. So, <laughs> all right, you guys take care. BPD Warrior, ouch. <laughs>